Hi my friends and welcome to today's video. My name is Jackie. If you are new here, then hello and welcome. Getting right into today's video, I need to deep clean my kitchen. Y'all, this place is such a mess with so many hot spots that need a good elbow grease scrubbing. So here I'm showing you all my mixtures I'm going to make up is a baking soda water and that is to clean the oven and then the water, the vinegar and a drop of essential oils or lemon squeezed in makes it perfect and just cuts that vinegar smell. Now that is to clean my microwave. I show you all the hot spots in my microwave. It is a mess. You can see on the baked on goods. So if I put that mixture in there, turn it on for five minutes and let it do its thing, it will be nice and condensated when I come back and ready to just wipe easy and clean. You can see that oven's got some baked on filmy grease and um, yeah, baked on goods. I've got my tin foil at the bottom and that just catches a whole lot of mess. My little thing that I always do. So then when I'm ready, I can pull that out. There's a, some crumbs in there, but not like, um, there's some baked on stuff on the bottom of my oven to have to scrub. So that's good to have the tin foil in there. I'm moving on to my oven. I essentially use a baking soda and water paste. Um, if you don't have so much, like I didn't this time, you'll see it, it's a little bit thinner. But otherwise, um, yes, I like to put this on and give it a, um, a thicker powder coat. Now, if I don't have any baking soda, you guys, I will go ahead and use a bit more of a scour, like my Jif or something, um, and a bit more of a heavy duty, then I'll go ahead and use that. But um, like I say, baking soda and water, then I'm going to leave that while I get on to cleaning my kitchen and other things, and then I'll come back to that. One of my tricks I do like to do, if my oven is really baked on, I'll put a really nice good paste of that baking soda water in the evening. I'll leave it to sit, and in the morning, I'll be ready to scrub it off. Now, when you come back to do your oven, um, if the some of the spots aren't lifting up with that paste on it, what you can do is take some vinegar. I like to put it in my little spray bottle, and I just give my oven a nice spray over with the vinegar. Now, the vinegar with the baking soda will react. Um, it will just really make it foam up and bubble up a little bit more and just really move some of those stubborn, stubborn spots, if you know what I mean. And then I just go ahead and use a soft cloth or a um, soft scour pad just to um, really lift those up. So, yeah. So yes, yeah, sorry, no massive transformation for these wire racks, you guys. It wasn't working for me. My scarab pad that I had was quite worn out and it just wasn't lifting it. I really need a nice steel wool. Um, so I've asked Winston to bring me one home and I can attack these at a later date and really just lift these up. So yeah, that's what I do there. Just lean those up in the sink you'll see me do and move on with the rest of the cleaning. Then I've just got some general kitchen area to clean. I need to move some of this toaster and things out. Um, just give this bench a really good wipe down. Um, clean up these tiles. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen a sky so blue. So beautiful 
Next thing you guys, I go ahead and I'm cleaning my stove top. Um, I've just got a little bit of the Jif liquid scourer, but then there's not much of that left. So y'all, I just um, remembered I have some of the soft ceramic top cleaner. Um, and so I just gave that a little bit of a squirt around as well. And just gave that a soft scrub with a soft, soft scourer pad, um, not to scratch up the glass or anything. But um, just let that do its thing and then just take a paper towel, wipe that residue off and then just wipe it with a soft microfiber after and that just really shines it up. So I take to my microwave to start with and this is with a cup of water, half a cup of vinegar and then and put a nice little drop of essential oil that tastes or smells delicious I mean or um the lemon juice which just makes it smell a little bit nicer than that tang of that vinegar but um, either way essentially we put that in there we turn it on for five minutes and let it do its thing it's going to really condensate the area and really loosen up those hardened baked on spots and um, makes it so much easier just to give the microwave a wipe out Now, like I say, my front cupboards are just so filthy, you guys. So what I'm doing is just using some dish soap and some water, and I'm just going ahead and giving those a, a good wipe down. Um, I'll show you all some close-ups with this as well, just so you can see what exactly what I was talking about, because you can't see it from a bit further away. The camera doesn't pick up the muck and the mess, but um, yeah, just some dish soap and water for that.
Red sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages. Citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides. Always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies. You know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes. Swing it down and You guys, then I just get to a vacuuming here. Before when I was cleaning off the bench and the things out of the oven and whatnot, I just dropped a whole lot of crumbs on the floor. So I just get all of that vacuumed up and away from under my feet. And once I'm done that, I then am moving back to my oven here where you can see clearly more now that that baking soda powder has really come up a really quite um, brilliant white colour um, as it's dried there and it is ready to have a good scrubbing. So I just cleaned out the inside of the oven lightly. Um, throughout this cleaning session I'll just show you all my little sponge scarab pad and just how much it's picking up. Um, it shows just how um, dirty the oven was and you guys it actually wasn't that bad look at that scarab pad just how easy it shows up with a wipe um, I'm not having to push really hard here um, and you can see how just how much is coming off um, and the oven itself wasn't too bad a few wipes and I show you there's not much coming off at all um, just a few debris pieces Yeah, and then once that's done, then I put my nice layer of tinfoil at the bottom just to protect it. Now, you guys, I have done some research on this. The aluminium foil is fine in here. Um, it's not toxic or anything like the scientists do say that it is safe, and I'm quite happy to use that. The only thing that it does change is maybe your temperatures with cooking. It might heat up and um, affect the food. Um is it reflects heat off it up to the um, food that's baking above but I mean I haven't found any problems with this um, and also the only other thing is if, it, if your oven gets too hot and it mounts to your oven but this is all fine I've been using it for a long time and I'm quite happy with thank it thank you so much for stopping by today's video if you've made it this far thank you so much I appreciate you all please give it a thumbs up if you do like this video and let me know um, by giving it a thumbs up and then um, this also helps to um, push my video out as well 
and um, yeah, appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye for now.